Hey Joe here and welcome to session 2 in the 5 minute Archie Guides. In this session we will cover the Archimate framework. Archimate is a visual language tool that uses concepts through layers, colours, icons and relationships as its language constructs. The key layers are business, application and technology. Colours, icons and relationships are the vocabulary or syntax of the visual language. The colours yellow, blue and green are the standard colours to denote the relevant layers. Some icons will repeat across the layers but have different meanings depending on the colour. For example, the business interface, application interface and technology interface have the same icon but different colour and therefore different meaning. Additionally, we have relationships that describe the interaction between the entities within the layers but more of that later. Every business, large or small, will have people who provide service or products which perform functions and processes to deliver those services. This is the business layer. Let's take an example of our dental practice that naturally provides a dental service. The dental practice is made up of dentist, receptionist, and of course, delivers a service to patients. Most businesses will have some form of software application to support the delivery of these services. This could be a mobile app, website, or an enterprise application. This is the application layer. Using our example, we have a booking system to manage appointments and an SMS app to notify patients of their appointments. Most applications will require some form of technology to support the application. This could be a mobile phone device, a desktop, an application or a database server. This is the technology layer. In our example, the booking system is a desktop application with an application server that can allow all staff to view appointments. And we have the expectations that patients will receive text notification to confirm appointments from a mobile device. Now that we've outlined, conceptualised if you like, the key entities across the layers, we need context about how they interrelate. The second part of our framework is aspects. Aspects help describe characteristics or traits of the entities within the business or within the context of our modelling. The aspect concept guides us thinking on who, how and what is happening. The active structure, who or what can or does something. Behaviour, what is the action being performed. And passive, whom or what is the action being done to and what is the result or output of that action. In our normal language, we use a construct of subject, verb and object in our everyday speech. So the active structure can be thought of as the subject the behaviour as the verb, and the passive structure as the object. The framework is a guideline, it's not a prescribed hard and fast rule. It provides constructs that help thinking and a common vocabulary to ease and expedite communications. Using the concepts of layers, aspects and the vocabulary of colours, icons and relationships, we could represent our dental practice through using relationships to our entities. Let's see an example. The dental services are realised by a dental practice. The dental practice is served by a dentist and receptionist and the practice serves patients. The booking system serves staff in managing appointments and SMS enables patients to receive appointment notifications. The booking system is available through the use of a desktop and therefore the desktop serves the application. And so our example has used the concepts of layers and aspects to model the dental practice. And finally, there's always more than one way to model. Keep the context and message of what your model is intending to communicate. Not everything has to follow the aspects and layers. So that concludes our five minute guide 
to the Archimate framework. In this session, we have learned that the Archimate framework is a visual language construct to help us build architectural models. It is flexible and can be used in many shapes and forms. Hopefully, this session has brought you some value and you might tune in to future sessions.